well, I just thought if I die, I die doing what I like, traveling. Hey, I like that. Yes, <laughs> yes. Your overall impression of the cube is positive. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I would recommend anyone to come here. I would say so. This, this, this country is different. Yeah, yeah. Isabel? So, the lush green jungle-like vegetation, the city, the palm trees, the lucky people who have uh, rooftop terraces, the great colors, and El Mar Caribe, the Caribbean Sea. I learn a lot from my vlogs, and here's another example. As you can plainly see, Barracoa to the north is definitely on the Atlantic Ocean. The Caribbean is on the south coast of Cuba. You're viewing Travels with Lobo, Cuba edition, vlog number 26. Final log on beautiful Barracoa. Lovely. And here's the hotel. Let's go check it out. Look at the lush vegetation. The palmeras. Gotta be one of the most interesting trees going. El Castillo, the castle hotel. Formerly the site of a colonial fort, now the best hotel in town. Renowned for its splendid views of the mountains that circle the city, its view of the city itself, and to one of the three bays that surround Barracoa. I too could have stayed here for $135 a night, but wait, Travels with Lobo is a budget type of vlog. So I opted for Casa Particular Lester for a mere $20 a night. See the last vlog where I review Casa Lester. This bay to my left, it's actually better. Maybe Velasque came in there. And uh, that looks like Velasquez wreck right there. As I said, there are three bays in the Baracoa area, so it's hard to know where Velasquez actually landed. Don't know who Velasquez was? Have a look at my last vlog. As I look in that direction, it looks like a real nice walk along there to the point. Along the port. These houses and uh, the ship that came way too close to shore. Just around the corner is a bus station, and uh, here is another bus company. Other than Viazul, the bus looks really, really good. It's Omnibus Nacionales. I discovered something. Um, these lovely buses. This is uh, Omnibus Nacionales. Uh, are also part of uh, are also part of uh, Via Azul, uh, but these are paid for in Manila Nacional and are not for foreigners. And the name of the company is Yutong. Yutong, that's from China. Yutong, listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange, is a large-scale industrial group specializing in the bus business in over 120 countries. I know. And, uh, boy, this is a, a nice bus. Pay a cook and you get in. Omnibus Nacionales. Very nice. Que hombre es el mejor chofer? Usted? Usted? Los dos son iguales. No, igual. Ok. Es es Cuba. Todo el mundo es igual. Ok. Gracias, gracias. To my question, who is the better driver, what else? Everybody's equal, we're all the same. Right in the middle of Baracoa is the Parque Independencia. In the background with that lovely yellow paint job is the Asamblea Municipal de Poder Popular, or the local assembly. On the other side is the Correo de Cuba, the Cuban mail. Remember, don't send cash to Cuba. Right next to it, the ATACSA, the Centro Multiservicio de Telecomunicaciones. This is where you would go to get your car.
card for a cell phone or access the internet. And right there is the Hotel Plaza, another hotel that would set you back about $100. The centerpiece of the parquet is the Catedral de Nuestra Señora de la Asunción, famous for the Columbus Cross that I highlighted in last week's vlog. Legend has it that Columbus brought the crosses from Europe, but tests show it was made from local wood. Another uh, feature of the uh, Parque Independencia is the statue of Hatuye, the Taino chief who refused to convert to Catholicism and was rewarded with being burnt at the stake near Baracoa in 1512. The gravity of his sacrifice did not prevent a local beer company from attaching his name to their product. Also right by the cathedral, a statue to Francisco Rodriguez, a native of Coruna, Spain. He was a man who was a self-styled missionary and preached on the street corners until 1896, when his sermons became offensive, the citizens protested and the town council decided to expel him from Baracoa, which resulted in the famous Curse of Pelu. Next to the cathedral, right here in, in Baracoa, I ran into this lovely lady who's from Belgium, and your name is? Isabel. Isabel, what a lovely name in a Spanish-speaking country. Isabel, couldn't yeah, be better, right? it's really right? nice to have that name here. Yeah. How much did that cost you to, to fly here? It was about uh, 150, 160, so you say, uh, euros, yeah. it's kind of the yeah. same. Yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of people, you know, are sort of concerned about the safety of uh, the Cuban airline, but you had no such con concerns. Well, I just thought, if I die, I die doing what I like, traveling. Hey, I like that, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, so you're, you're here, but you have certain impressions. Uh, your number one impression was that certain things are... Are quite expensive for me. Are yeah. more expensive than, than in Belgium itself. But yeah. it's because of the, the double system, the double standards of money, the national pesos and the CUC, the cook, like they say. The, the cook, uh, yeah. It's actually quite expensive. Uh, it makes things expensive and... Um, for instance, taxis, like from the airport yeah. to the city, was, uh, you about 30, 30 euros to 30 CUC. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Cooking, it's for me too much, you know. Uh, really, really, yeah. To get yeah. to the airport with two persons in Belgium, it's right. one hour and right. it's about 50 right. euros or something. You were in Havana and like myself, you're very impressed with? The architecture, it's the, amazing. Where, where? In uh, Havana Vieja. Yeah, Havana, Havana Vieja. Vieja, yeah, blew me away. And you are an? An architect. An architect. So it blew yeah. me even more away. <laughs> An architect for a, a major uh, grocery chain in, in yeah, yeah, in, that's the difference. Yeah, in Belgium, in Belgium but, yeah, cool. But you, you were impressed by, by, by this. It was amazing. Was, They've yeah. got a lot of work to do, but you still see the typical architecture that was before anything happened. They just have to put some money in it, restore it. Yeah, it's already pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's already pretty amazing. UNESCO when they has put it. a lot of money in, in yeah, there, yeah, but other, they still have to put a lot of money more in it. I think the for instance, the, the the Italians, the Italians no, put the uh, money into this, this, this church here. Oh, did they? It was, uh, it was pretty well falling apart, but the, the Italians kind of put money in here and now it's, it's really nice. And lastly, you said a few things about the people, the, the uh, Cubanos, you really like him, you think they're honest people and I when they lie they're up? honest. If, you, if they look in a not honest and they try to seduce you, you know yeah, that it's yeah. really just a fraud. But if I walk the streets in Belgium and I say to someone, hey, how are you? They look like, what the fuck? Yeah. What happens? And yeah, they're just nice back to you. Nice, nice. They're all nice to you. So your overall impression of the cube is positive? It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I would recommend anyone to come here. I would say so. This, this, this country is different. Yeah, yeah. Isabel? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hasta la vista. Hasta la vista. The people, the, the uh, Cubanos, you really like him? You think they're honest people? And I when think they they're up? honest. Okay. I've been invited into the house of uh, Hermes. 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 Y su nombre es? Rosa. Rosa. I was walking past the house of Hermes and I struck up a conversation and he invited me in. So Hermes y Rosa, y ahí es una cosa muy importante en, en, en Cuba. 
This is the most uh, sacred thing in Cuba. The Virgen de la Caridad. Caridad. Ruega, ruega por nosotros. Si? Si. Okay. And uh, Hermes told me that this is in Santiago de Cuba. In el cobre. Que, que es cobre? Que, que es... En el cobre es eh, un lugar. Un lugar. Que queda alejadito así de la ciudad de Santiago de Cuba. Que es una iglesia muy grande. Ah, ok. Una iglesia muy grande. Muy... Que usted va allí y la va a ver allí a ella. Ok. Eh, y le va a pedir lo que usted desee. Ok, ok. Y entonces allí está sí, linda, sí, linda, sí. linda, muy, muy sí, poderosa. Sí. Ah, allí va todo el mundo de Cuba. Di, di, y de di, afuera di, que viene también. Sí, de sí, todos sí. los países. Entonces creo que voy a regresar a Santiago y este, este vez voy a visitar este lugar. Ajá, a... Porque ¿Y Hermes y Rosa. Rosa me dicen. Tiene que ir. Tiene que ir. Entonces voy a ir. Muchas gracias. Sí. Gracias. Okay. As they say in Spanish, lamentablemente, or unfortunately, this is a promise I did not keep as I did not go back to Santiago and to Cobre. Instead, I opted to go further along the north coast of Cuba towards Holguin. Problem? There's no official road. This is the Willis Jeep that is going to take us for the first two hours to Moa, Mao, Moa. So join me next Friday for this exciting adventure, and I leave you with a few more clips from Barracoa. Thank you for viewing, and uh, if you got this far in my blog, why not give it a thumbs up? If you have any questions, travelswithlobo at gmail.com would do the trick. I'll be going all night. We'll be doing this for next to nothing. This place is called Casa de la Tuba.